Today, we have a battle between two really good Office suites, WPS Office and Microsoft Office. Let's get into it. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Adrian Reddix, and we're looking at two really good Office suites in our Versus series. It's WPS Office and MS Office. So the criteria we're using is the same criteria we're using every Versus video. The five criteria we're using are design, app choice, features, cost, and support. The first one is design and Microsoft Office is the standard. You'll keep hearing me saying this all throughout the video because it's true. Almost all Office suites that aren't Microsoft Office have to either be similar or somewhat close to it because people are so used to Microsoft Office. So anything that's a deviation from that is a drastic move and could cause some type of not favorable things in the market. People are like what they're used to. So if you're close to it, but different enough, people like that. So Microsoft Office is the standard. You have the ribbon. The ribbon is one of those things that... Uh, whenever they change to the ribbon, people either loved it or hate it. It's not a lot of people in the middle when you're talking about the ribbon. You, you have some advantages to the ribbon. It can help in certain types of workflows, right? The color scheme also is iconic. You know, you have Word is blue and Excel is green and, and PowerPoint is like a red. You see some office suites that aren't Microsoft Office that adopt this color scheme because, again, it's the standard, right? And I think it has a pretty good modern design. It doesn't feel like clunky and old. Everything is responsive. Now, WPS Office also has a ribbon, but it's a little bit different. You have an extra feature with WPS Office, and that's uh, a thing that I do not like about the Microsoft Office suite. I don't have to go out of the app to go and pull up another thing in the suite like you do Microsoft Office. So if you're on Word in Microsoft Office and you wanted to go to Excel to compare something, you would have to go to the start menu and go to Excel. With WPS Office, I can stay in the same screen. Just go over to the left and click on the tab and all your options are right there. You don't have to go outside the app. It does have a similar color scheme as Microsoft Office. But when I tell you that you don't want to have anything too drastic, people are used to what they're used to. So if you would do something like if you're a writer or your document uh, editor would be, I don't know, Fuchsia, people would be like, ah, I don't know. This is nothing. I mean, it could be the exact same function. But if you don't have something that looks similar, people don't trust it as much. So it's a really good idea to have a similar, not the exact, but a similar color scheme as the standard, right? So for design, I got to give the point to both of them. The next is app choice. Now, Microsoft Office has the most apps I've seen in an Office suite, right? You got Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneDrive, Teams, Publisher, Access, SharePoint. And there's so many more that does everything you could possibly need in an office setting, right? As far as software to run a business, you can run a business on Microsoft Office. You can also write papers. It has everything you need uh, academically as far as how to get the work done. Now, WPS Office has three tiers. They have a free tier, a sign up tier, which, and a paid tier, which we'll talk about in uh, an upcoming uh, section. Each one of those gives you access to different things, right? So you got the document writer or the WPS uh, document writer. Uh, you have a spreadsheet app. You have a presentations app. You also have a built in PDF viewer, which, uh, MS Office, I believe, doesn't have. And you also have some uh, conversions in there. You have that. I wouldn't consider these apps, though, but they're more functions, right? Because apps, I consider things you can get in there and do something, manipulate the data and create, right? You got a PDF to Word converter. You have a PDF to JPEG or a JPEG to PDF converter. You have a picture to PDF. You got a, a lot of converters in there, which I don't consider those apps, but those are pretty good uh, features to have. So, for app choice with its sheer amount of apps. I got to give it to Microsoft Office. The next one is going to be features. With Microsoft Office, you can access and use Microsoft Office in so many different ways. You can have the Office 365 uh, account and you get access to everything online and offline, right? The, a good feature is that you can be working on something at your desk, um, in the town you work in, right? 
and you can save it to your OneDrive and come home and work on it there. And the fact that you can run a whole company off of office is amazing you can do things from your accounting spreadsheets or you can you can write reports in word or you can give sales presentations from powerpoint you can do anything you want to run a company off of it's that robust and i do believe that's why it's a standard because any business no matter what it is can pick this up and use it to help facilitate that business right also if you're a student or somebody in the academics anything you could possibly need to further your studies or do reports or analysis or things like that it can be done in the office suite wps office is no slouch when it comes to features i've had plenty of people on a couple of uh, videos I've done about WPS Office tell me a myriad of things that they were able to do because of WPS Office. I had one person tell me that they uh, were able to do their dissertation completely on WPS Office. Also, somebody told me through his whole college career, the only thing he used was the free tier of the WPS Office suite, and especially those converters. Converting documents to different forms helps out so much. Let's say if you had you want to do a presentation and you had a PDF, right? But you wanted to put it in, I don't know, you want to put it in the presentation part. Well, you can take that PDF, the picture converter, convert it, and it's an easier thing to size and things like that. Because PDFs don't really work so well when you introduce them into like a presentation app. I mean, it can work. It's not great. Here's the thing. Just because the free tier exists, free doesn't mean uh, cheap or free doesn't mean that it's incapable. So it really doesn't matter what tier you have. The quality of WPS Office is uh, established and maintained through all these tiers. You just get access to more unlocked features the, the more things you do. You know, if you sign up, you get access to this. If you um, pay the yearly fee or the one, they do have a one-time fee, but we'll get into that later you can have access to uh, even more things, right? So for features, I, I have to give it to both of them. Cost. Microsoft Office has a myriad of SKUs. If you want to get a yearly Office 365 plan, it's $69.99. If you want to have a family plan up to, I believe, six people, it's $9.99. And then... You get into, let's say, I don't want any of that. I just want the standalone system. But you can have Office, Excel, PowerPoint for around $200, $250, right? But that's not it. Now you have the business side. If you go to the business part of the website, you have like five or six different prices for different things. But that is not it. If you go to a website that I use at work called CDW and look for and look for Microsoft Office, you see a myriad of SKUs. They have a price for any type of combination or any type of configuration. It can be confusing. You can get something that you don't know that you didn't need or it get something that you needed. Right. So if you have anything as far as the organization that's outside those normal parameters, um, the customization can get dizzying and the pricing can be very confusing if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, if you're not working with a reseller or something like that, it, it, it's almost impossible to navigate if you have special needs or special circumstances outside of the norm. So the SKUs and all the prices can be very confusing when you're talking about Microsoft Office. Now with WPS Office, they have three tiers. You have what I call the free tier, the sign up tier, and the pay tier. Now, the free tier gives you a robust office suite, right? Uh, it's not a product that they took something away. They didn't take anything away from it to force you to go up to one of these higher tiers. You can have a very good functioning suite with just WPS Office, the free version at least. As you go up, you know, you have the uh, the sign up tier that unlocks more stuff. And then you have the paid tier, which is $29 a year. And that unlocks everything like the PDF converter and other things and takes the limits off the sign up tier. They also have a business side that has a, I forget what the monthly cost, but if you wanted to buy it outright, it's 129-ish dollars per installation per uh, per instance right and because you can get a very robust thing for no cost i have to give the point to wps office and the last category is going to be support now when we're talking about support 
Microsoft Office has so many resources. They have their own knowledge base. They have the form, which, you know, the form is, you know, shaky a little bit. If it's somebody that works in the form, answering like low level questions is really good for it. But if you have complicated questions, the form really isn't going to be a good resource for you. That's why they created that knowledge base. And you have all creators, me included, that have so many videos and tutorials about Microsoft Office. So as far as getting support or getting what you need, it's there. Now, I've never paid for support or had to use support for the Microsoft Office product, but they do have that support there if you need it. Because you have Microsoft so invested in have you know their product and you have a bunch of creators who have um, created so many things to help you do the work you need done. Uh, support is very big when it comes to Microsoft Office, but WPS Office isn't lack in this area either. Let's say you're pretty new to the Office Suite world. When you first install WPS Office on the right side, they have a bar or a area where you can um, learn how to do uh, basic uh, functions, which it sounds like it's ridiculous, but you, I can't tell you the amount of people that I work with or have worked with. They can't do basic things in an office suite. I can tell you that I work with people and I worked with people who don't have a basic understanding of an office suite. And instead of asking for help or things like that, they just don't learn and it's and it's embarrassing. So if you have something that can facilitate, hey, let's learn how to make a uh, custom whatever or hey let, let's learn how to uh format this or things like that if you had something that was right there they didn't have to reach out to somebody maybe the embarrassment of not knowing it could subside they could actually learn something and increase their workflow you see what i'm saying so having that right there when you install it is a fantastic feature of WPS Office. They do have some uh, forums and you do have people who have videos out there about it. But because it isn't as robust as Microsoft Office, it isn't, it isn't as much, but it is there. So if you run into a problem or a situation, they do have a support team, especially for the paid tiers. Because it doesn't have the same support doesn't mean you still can't get help. And for that reason, I'm going to have to give it to both of them again. And we have our first tie, but I'm not going to do that to you. I'm not. I hate those videos where it's like, oh, they're both good. We're going to pick a clear winner today. And so we're going to come up with our tiebreaker criteria, and that's portability. Now, with Microsoft Office, you can download it to a desktop or you can access it online. They do have a free version online that you can do. And as far as taking it wherever you need to, you can put it on your phone. You can put it wherever and still take it with you. You know, you don't, you're not restricted to just having it on the computer. And I really like that about Microsoft Office. Now, WPS Office does the exact same thing. You can have it on your desktop and you can have it online and they have a cloud version that you can access your stuff. And they also have a iOS and Android app, just like Microsoft Office. But they do one thing that Microsoft Office does not do. If I live in an area, which I stay in central Mississippi, there are plenty of areas that don't have good broadband or good internet at all. So if I'm in this area and I don't have any money and I, I can afford a computer to do my schoolwork or whatever I'm doing, if I want to use the free tier when it comes to Microsoft Office, I have to be online. There's no offline free when it comes to Microsoft Office. So for that, I have to get the tiebreaker point because I can use it wherever for free and it's WPS Office. WPS Office is the winner of this battle. Is WPS Office for everybody? In most instances, uh, if you don't need Microsoft Office, yes. The only exceptions I would tell you, you probably shouldn't use WPS Office. If you have a large scale business, and when I say large scale, I'm talking about maybe over 20 employees, um, maybe WPS Office isn't the best thing because once you get into uh, more employees or um, things like you may get into some more requirements where you need a more complete solution that has like a email component that has different um, regulations as far as retention, right? The second is if you can't get out of the idea that it isn't Microsoft Office. You have some people who don't like change. I had a director of the job I'm at now um, they were really on WordPerfect and they couldn't get into the mindset that, hey, 
Microsoft Office is a better product. They were stuck in Word Perfect, Word Perfect. And it really held things back because this director was using a program that nobody else in the company was using. If you absolutely have to have PowerPoint, WPS Office isn't going to work for you, right? But it's some things that PowerPoint does that, you know, is really good. But if you don't absolutely have to have that product, WPS Office is a great alternative. What office suite do you use on a day-to-day -day basis? Let me know in the comment section. If you like videos like this, look at the video where I discuss WPS Office on whether it's a good Microsoft Office alternative. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one.